Yeah. So, first of all, will you tell me your name and why you've come to EASD? Right, I'm uh, Professor Hugh Jones. I am the diabetologist and endocrinologist, and I've come to EASD to visit uh, all about diabetes, but also to present data on our study, which is an ABCD Association of British Clinical Diabetologists worldwide audit on testosterone in diabetes. This is very important because 40% of men with type 2 diabetes are testosterone deficient and would benefit from treatment, but it's not largely in the diabetologist's field of view, if you like, to actually measure testosterone and ask them about symptoms of testosterone deficiency. We know from several studies now that these people feel a lot better, their quality of life improves, as well as obviously the sexual function. But it has other very important cardiometabolic uh, functions. So we've shown that testosterone improves insulin resistance, which is the key biochemical defect in type 2 diabetes. And this has been shown by other people as well in large studies. We did a large European study of eight countries which showed that insulin resistance improves. In addition, the HbA1c falls and people lose weight eventually. Weight's not obviously lost for the first 12 months because people tend to gain muscle as well as losing body fat. But after 12 months, there's a very significant weight loss, which many people don't realize. And registry studies have shown up to 11 years that people who are overweight and obese can lose anything from 15 through to 35 kilograms over that period of time. So it's an ongoing treatment. So with testosterone replacement therapy, all we're doing is replacing the testosterone level back to normal. And there are various preparations around which we can do that, which we didn't have a few years ago. So we can actually replace back to normal like you would for thyroid hormones, thyroxine, uh, or insulin if you like. But this treatment makes a huge difference to the way patients are. They are very committed, the patients, to the treatment, so compliance is absolutely excellent. And if there's a difficulty getting their testosterone replacement, they tell you about it. So the other thing we know is that 70% of men with type 2 diabetes have erectile dysfunction. And that can be due to several different causes, as we know, uh, vascular causes, psychogenic, uh, and many others. But if you're testosterone deficient, you will not respond as well to a PDE5 inhibitor like sildenafil. And there are studies to show that those men who are non-responders to PDE5, if they have their testosterone checked and given testosterone back, 60% of the non-responders actually respond. So this is very important and very important to, to people. So I guess one of the things that you would ask diabetologists to do is ask about sexual function and not to assume that if there is an issue that it automatically must be cardiovascular. Yes, correct, that's right. So it's very important to ask about libido because one of the key symptoms is loss of libido and fatigue. Many of your patients uh, in, in the diabetic field are fatigued and you can actually improve the fatigue. There is also associated with low testosterone and mild anemia, and that can respond to testosterone replacement therapy. And there are effects on the uh, bone marrow or erythropoietin, uh, which work well with testosterone. It is key to many people's health, and once they're on it, they may be on it for years. Now, the, the argument is that some people say if you lose weight, you will have your testosterone level increase. Well, it does increase a bit with uh, lifestyle, but only by one or two nanomoles per litre, which in the scheme of things is not very much. However, if you had bariatric surgery, it can increase quite a lot. However, not all people should be treated for testosterone deficiency with bariatric surgery, and that's uh, yeah, it's very difficult to access the treatment anyway. So it's a very simple treatment replacement, but you have to be clear that you've uh, the diagnosis of testosterone deficiency. You need to do two fasting testosterone levels and find out if there's any classical cause, but if not, these people should have the testosterone treatment and there are no risks if you keep the levels in the normal range. Thank you so much, that was fascinating. Yeah, it was terrific, thank you. Funny. So what are the next steps here? Right, so currently we're doing the ABCD Worldwide Audit 
and we need lots of patients to be placed in the audit from people's normal clinical practice and we'd like to get a few thousand patients so I ask you if you're interested please sign up to the ABCD Worldwide Audit. Just Google ABCD Testosterone Diabetes Audit. Sign up and you can take part of it, at, in it. And you can manage and look at your own treatment in your own unit as well as putting patients in the Worldwide Audit. So please take part.